Hi and welcome to High On Coding, I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this video I'm going to show you how you can play around with your entity objects and convert them to document structure and then persist them in the MongoDB database. So we live and breathe in the object world and you might wonder that why do I have to do this to store my document, okay? Uh, this is okay for testing purposes, this is okay for demonstration purposes but you can actually see that if I have a key value pair, like a category name like twice, okay? And this is okay if I use a single uh, key for this dictionary of document, uh, but since this is not a single key in our uh, real world application, I mean, in real world, you might have a name, you might have a price, a category, uh, it's active, date created, date modified, then some sort of ID and this can go on and on and there's no way that your developers can recognize that okay we have these fields and they can just type in name and then okay yeah yeah I know I remember that the other field is a uh, price or anything right so this really doesn't work in our real world scenarios so what do we do in real world we play around with objects we have a domain and we have uh, entity classes we have our a business class that represents the, uh, the domain. So let's say that I'm working with the Northwind categories uh, collection. So I'll have a class category. And you can see it over here that I do have a class called category. Okay. It has an ID, it has a name. Now I'm going to use the same ID that is generated by the document, which is the object ID or OID, yeah, but I'm going to store it as string. You might be wondering, okay, whoa, 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 why am I not storing as OID and why am I storing as string? Well, the simple reason is that when you convert it back, if I go over here and if you use this particular function to convert, so the JSON or the JavaScript serializer has no idea how to convert a string into an object ID or OID. So you'll have to manually do that. And I haven't found a way to do that. Uh, I know that there are uh, converters, or a JavaScript converters that you can, you can basically implement yourself. The problem with that is they convert a particular type. So they, if, you, if I'm converting something, I will have to go and uh, have to put down as object. Like I have to create a type for the object. Like uh, I don't know if I have it over here. So yes, like over here, what I did is that I only wanted to convert a single OID but then I have to go through all the steps and convert everything of course this there might be a, a simpler way but uh, nothing is simpler than just using the ID as a string so let's do that so we have a category I'm going to say okay category I'm going to create a category and uh, I'm going to assign a category now this category class you can create by hand you can create uh, I don't know, you can create automatically by auto-generated code. I like to create by hand because it's simple and it doesn't have any fluff within in it. It doesn't have any on change events and I can, I can write whatever I want to, okay? So let's go back over here. I'm gonna say, okay, my new category is twice, okay? And now basically I'm saying, okay, I'm, I need to insert this into the database or into a document database, but guess what? The insert over here takes a document or a collection of documents. And if I pass in category over here, it's going to complain because category is not a document. So what we need to do is we need to convert our object into a document. So I have this extension method that uh, works on any type of object and it will convert the category into a document format. Now, if a category has products, it's going to convert the products as a nested documents. Uh, let me go and show you how it works. It's a recursive a loop that goes on. And uh, I uh, actually copy most of the code, but uh, I have to give the credit where it belongs to a Mongo serializer. I can't recall uh, the blog, but that gentleman, he created this uh, uh, serialized member implementation. I did improve it a little bit by uh, removing all the if checks and uh, using like a simple check of type. But usually what it, it will do, it will just go through and it will uh, call it uh, recursively 
unless the whole thing until the whole thing is uh, converted successfully so here we go so we have inserted our twice okay and uh, now if I run it let's see oops okay so it's actually inserted uh, hopefully my server is running okay now let's go ahead and uh, try to fetch it okay so I'm going to say var c equal to categories dot find one and a new document and uh, basically let's fetch it by uh, by name and of course I'm going to show you how you can fetch it by um, by the ID and I need to convert it to category so let's say right line C dot ID and let's run it so we get the ID okay um, so let's say that if I have the ID let's say ID equal to C dot ID okay and you have to make sure that this ID is actually a string so this is actually a string returning okay so I'm going to do it again C1 let's say C1 and now this time I'm going to fetch it by ID new document and uh, I'm going to say this time it's ID and I'm going to pass an ID and I think to class uh, category something wrong with this by the way okay Let's, let me run it oh let me actually print it out console right line c1 dot uh, let's say that I want to print the name so it throws the exception and the exception is object reference not set to an instance of an object the reason is you are passing the ID as a string and if you have been watching the screencast the last three episode or the last one I told you that do not pass it as string because it will not understand so you have to pass it at O ID or the object ID and now when I run this you can actually see that now it gets the twice okay one other thing and I need your opinion on this one is um, when you insert let's say that this one okay so when you insert uh, and basically you're converting it to document uh, I was hoping well it, it won't actually do it of course but it will be really cool if I can just change it if a to document is going to insert and then assign the ID into the ID okay um, so there are a couple of ways to do that I created a method it really doesn't have to be called better insert but it will return you the ID and then you can assign it dot uh, ID I wonder what it returns it returns a string or not so it returns OID which you can convert to string or you can string a, or return a string okay so that's one of the ways but anyway that's open for discussion and that's pretty much it uh, one last uh, thing that I need to remind you again and again is visit high on coding there are a bunch of articles uh, videos as you can see it right now my main focus is the MongoDB database there are also a bunch of podcasts and then if you are interested you can go and donate uh, everything is available on high encoding is free of charge like other websites we don't charge for education okay um, this is a learning thing for, uh, for me as well as this is a learning thing for you but we are always looking for donations so please open up your hearts and donate if you are a company and if you want to create some sort of screencast for your employees then you can contact me at azamsharp at gmail.com if you want to sponsor the videos again the email is azamsharp at gmail.com thank you very much and stay tuned for more podcasts and screencasts